How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Elliot Page non-binary erasure and how Wikipedia is problematic and how we can fix it. On December 1st, 2020, Elliot Page, former actor of Juno and currently in the Umbrella Academy, came out to the world in his social media profiles as transgender and their pronouns are he, they. In his open letter, he also highlighted the countless violence that trans women have specifically faced, specifically black and latinx trans women have faced in the world and they also highlighted how trans people have been constantly ignored by the medical system leading to further harm of trans people with this open letter elliot has also become one of the biggest outspoken transgender celebrities out there with the likes of laverne cox india moore sam smith and many many others now in the beginning when I first saw this story I actually shared it with my fiance and we looked at it and we also felt really good because the media wasn't really dead naming him which it was, was which was a huge issue that we were kind of expecting looking into the news stories out there about Elliot but news outlets have done a really good job of not dead naming him but they are doing something very, very problematic, and that is non-binary erasure. I want to specifically point out that when Elliot came out in their letter, they came out as a transgender person, not a transgender man. For people who are confused about what that means, I want to emphasize that there are many gender identities that go beyond the traditional identity of man or woman, and that non-binary identities exist across cultures and throughout the world. If you're confused about what non-binary means, these are people who identify as beyond the traditional binary definitions of man or woman. And non-binary identities has existed throughout history in multiple different cultures around the world. If someone tells you that their pronouns are they, them, and he, him, it is in your best interest to respect those pronouns. Do not fall into comfort because I see this a lot even in my own sphere with my non-binary friends. If they have both they, them, he, him, or she, her pronouns, people just fall into traditional binary expectations of that person and then only use the pronouns that fit the binary. And that is disrespectful and a form of non-binary erasure. And I've been seeing this a lot with new news media outlets that are covering Elliot's story because they're just sticking to he, him pronouns, even though they have expressed their pronouns as being he, they. It's just the media's attempt to continue to stick to a binary lens of the world when they're not trying to go beyond what's comfortable for them. After looking at what the media has done with covering Elliot's story, I just feel like they're doing the bare minimum in order to get a passable score, which is not ideal. I don't think just being passable is what you should aim to be. If you want to actively respect people and respect people's identities, especially non-binary people, you have, to you have to actively work towards stopping non-binary erasure and continuing to do the work to respect pronouns of non-binary people. And that includes if they express that they have they them pronouns, use them in sentences. If you've seen my video so far, I made an effort to consistently use they, them, and he, him pronouns when referring to Elliot. It's important to interchangeably use their pronouns because it's a form of showing that you acknowledge them as a non-binary individual and that you respect them. It is, it's as simple as that and it's a really easy thing to do, which I feel like a lot of people are failing to do. A part of me is honestly not very surprised by what the media is doing because I have a lot of friends that are either trans feminine or trans masculine and use they them and he him she her pronouns and the people around me continue even if they're queer they continue to use binary pronouns consistently instead of interchangeably using their pronouns that they identify with. You know, sometimes I get sad that, you know, cisgender people do not respect trans identities, but I think it's even sadder to know that queer people, even queer binary trans people 
don't respect non-binary pronouns. Lastly, I kind of just want to say that I'm really, really disappointed in Wikipedia. Um, this morning, I just went on Wikipedia to check Elliot's page to see what kind of changes that they've made. And it honestly is so disappointing. I'm, I don't even want to show it in my video because of how disappointing and dysphoric it is. Because not only do they still have Elliot's dead name in their uh, Wikipedia article, but they are also performing non-binary erasure because every single sentence that uses Elliot's pronouns are binary pronouns of he, him. His bio in Wikipedia also says that they were assigned female at birth, which I honestly don't think adds any significant historical value to someone's biography. And I don't think trans people even want to have their assigned sex at birth listed on their bio. So uh, Wikipedia, if you're listening to this, I know y'all are doing a great thing as far as, you know, recording history, but definitely think about how you are treating trans people and how you're writing about trans people and how you are vetting writers who write about trans people in your database because I think that's very important. And I'm really disappointed by Wikipedia. I have known that Wikipedia is a bit problematic when it comes to documenting trans histories, but I do think that they could do better. And I think because Elliot's coming out story has become so huge, this is an opportunity for me to call out Wikipedia. Thank you all so much for watching. Please tune in for another video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my social medias if you want to keep up with my daily life. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.